Hello and welcome to the next Lucosa Retro Game Review video. And for this one, obviously it's still on the Atari VCS. Uh, this is uh, Missile Command. Uh, this came out in 1981. Obviously it's a conversion of the uh, arcade game. The coin op version came out in 1980. And this is a game that is absolutely a game of its time um you can you can you can tell pretty much just from looking at it let alone from the gameplay that this is a game that was designed around the uh capabilities of the hardware that was available at the time or perhaps more accurately uh, it was developed around the limitations of the hardware of the time um Oh, visually it's no great shakes even for the day it's no great shakes so as always with all the uh, Atari VCS games the playability rightly got the top priority and um, we ended up with a game that is certainly original and plays really well so let's get the game underway. Uh, there are 34 variations on this uh, cartridge. Uh, 17 for you know one player and again for two player. I don't find there's a great deal of difference actually between any of the variations. So we'll just uh, stick with version 1. And uh, here we go. So you move the cursor around um, and you fire uh, your defensive missiles to stop these uh, incoming missiles from destroying the cities. Now the actual uh, story behind the game is uh, your planet is under attack from this uh, alien whoever and obviously their plan of attack is to fire all these missiles and destroy uh, your cities so you are in command of uh, the missile defense system for these six particular cities here and you just have to stop their incoming uh, missile attacks they have a limited number of shots i think it's 30 uh, shots you have After that time, you've just got to hope that uh, the enemy uh, attack wave stops. And obviously at the end of each level, you get a uh, bonus depending on how many unused missiles you've got and how many of your six cities you have saved. So there aren't any lives per se in this game. Fuck that right up as I lost one city there. But uh, yeah, it's game over when um, you lose all six of your cities. Every two levels, uh, one city that has been destroyed will be rebuilt. So I might get this one back at the end of this level. Okay, it'll be the end of this level. Let's assume I don't lose any more during this uh, go. Uh, also, you get uh, scoring bonuses. Um, during levels 1 and 2, the score the scoring is just standard. During levels 3 and 4, uh, points are doubled. Levels 5 and 6, the points are trebled. 7 and 8, they're quadrupled. 9 and 10, you get 5 times the uh, amount. Oh, I'm not doing good here. Uh, there's another city destroyed. And yeah, from level 11 onwards, you get six times the uh, score. They're not going to hit a city, so yeah, I can let them land. It's not a good strategy to let any land. Yeah, so level 11, you get six times uh, the score, and then that is capped at that. Uh, it, you'll never get more than six times. But it does mean that, uh, yeah, you can certainly get some hefty fucking scores in this game because I've lost another city so I'm down only three 
make that too. Fucking hell, I'm not doing good here. And now one of their uh, smart uh, cruise missiles has come in. Right, so another city is now being rebuilt, so I'm back to three. But this is it, I mean, yes, okay, visually, yeah, no great shakes. Hardly a rarity for a, uh, you know, a game from the 1980, quite not. But, oh, fuck it, I was so busy uh, watching this area that I missed those two and now another city's down. Fuck it, hell. I'm not doing too good here. Right, one city left to uh, defend. Oh, I thought I'd fuck that. I may still have fucked it. Right, so still only the one city left. I'm, I'm hanging on. Now I must admit, I was I oh, fuck this, so this will be game over unless a uh, a city is rebuilt at the end of this level, which I doubt. Um, yeah, this is uh, this will be uh, game over. Yeah, yeah, that's it. So that's game over there. Seventeen thousand four hundred five uh, for that one. Yeah, not one of my best goes. Okay, another game. Now I must admit, I was not a fan of the uh, coin op. Um, but the reason for it was the control method. Um, this game obviously uses uh, the joystick. But the, co the arcade coin op version used a trackball. And it was the first game I'd ever seen that used a trackball controller. And I just could not get on with it. Not because I couldn't, you know, control it and get the cursor moved around, but because uh, the trackball itself was A, very large, B, it was made of metal, or at least it certainly felt like it was made of metal, so it was also very heavy. So, I, um, I mean, when you are an ultra puny fucking eight year old, as I was in, in 1980, um, trying to get you know, this, this big heavy ball and moving you know, the cursor around the screen was not easy. So, I just couldn't get on with the game at all. I couldn't fucking control it. And that initially put me off. Um, getting this, I, I was not so keen on, on getting Missile Command for uh, my VCS, but that changed when um, I went around to a mate's house and he had it, and I was playing it on that, and I thought, hey, this game is pretty fucking good actually, and I ended up getting it for my birthday. So, um... Yeah, my initial impression of the coin op original did somewhat taint the game for me, but uh, after having a, a couple of quick goes, I soon realised that it is actually pretty fucking good. Of course, today, a lot of people are going to take one look at the visuals and say, well, that game looks utter shit, and probably not even play it. Uh, if you don't play it, and yeah, you're missing out. The game is, as I've said so many times with these VCS uh, game reviews, the game is pure playability. Absolutely. Now there was um, at least one, uh, it wasn't actually a uh, conversion, but there was one version of this that came out for Commodore 64, which I reviewed fucking years ago. Uh, called Armageddon, uh, that was released by Ocean, it was one of Ocean's earliest Commodore 64 games. And it was okay, but it was very slow, it didn't, you know, didn't have anything like the speed of this as I've lost my first city. 
and try about lose another. And another, so I've lost three in one fucking level. But one's being rebuilt, so I've still got four. So yes, I mean, you could play Missile Command on your Commodore 64, but yeah, it, it wasn't as good as... Uh, certainly nowhere near as good as this. I would say it's probably as good as the uh, coin-op, but like I say, my memories of the coin-op are rather ruined by the fact that I just could not get on with the uh, control uh, method. So I managed to save three. So I'm doing better this time around. So, um, how do we uh, go as far as the review? Um, I mean, yes, visually it's it's no great shapes. It's very much, uh, like I say, a game that was designed around the limitations of the hardware that uh, was around at the time. But when you take that into account, it's... I mean, the, the visuals are certainly effective. Yeah, they fucking work. You can't say they don't. And the game is actually not that bad to look at, I don't think. Uh, in terms of audio, I think the audio is great. It, it, it works. It really, you know, like so many VCS games, it really does make you, you know, turn your fucking living room into an arcade hall. So yeah, the the uh, the audio I think is fine. Um, but if, if there's one area where the uh, Atari 2600 really does excel, it's uh, sound effects. Uh, the audio in the Atari 2600 games is always fucking great. Uh, that is something where the, the 2600 has in common with uh, the VIC-20. Uh, the VIC-20, you know, okay, it's music is shit, but then that's the same with the uh, uh, VCS. The music shit. The sound effects, though, are fucking superb. It's, it's like the... the complete opposite of the Commodore 64. Commodore 64, the music is fantastic, but especially the uh, sound effects, they sound a bit too clean. They don't really work for me, because I get another uh, city rebuilt. And you can see now, the, the incoming missiles are really coming down at a rate. I've got two cities, which I'm trying to defend, but no, that one uh, was gone. And that's both. Alright, so this will be game over. So I get me bonus. There you go. 37,100. Not bad. Um, fuck it. One more go. So, I mean, like... Again, like I've said, with all of the uh, Atari 2600 games, it's a game that keeps you playing. You keep coming back for another go, and you think, oh, I'll just have, you know, one or two quick goes of it. And next thing you know, you've had, like, you know, two dozen fucking goes of the thing. It keeps you coming back for more. It is a great arcade game. Yet another great game for the uh, VCS. And I say that as someone who wasn't a big fan of the uh, Coin-Op original. Albeit for reasons that had nothing to do with the actual gameplay itself. Okay. So, uh, what do I score this? Um... I'll give this 8.5 out of 10, and uh, yeah, if you like your shoot 'em ups and you fancy something that is just a little bit different, and you didn't play, you know, Armageddon back in the day, or even, you know, didn't play Missile Command, you know, you, for, for whatever reason, 
give it a go, I, you will be pleasantly surprised. So it is one of those games that a lot of people saw it running and just thought, oh, that don't look too great. So I didn't bother, um, they didn't even bother playing it, let alone buying it. Um, I think you will be uh, pleasantly surprised. It's uh, a game that plays a hell of a lot better than it looks and it really does keep you coming back for, uh, you know, one more go. It has, you know, that, it definitely has that one more go syndrome. So yes, I am definitely a fan. Um, and I highly recommend it. I'm doing a lot better here than I thought I would. But I'm about to keep, I've put the kiss of death on that. Yeah, there we go, so that's one city down. I've never actually used up all my shots before the levels ended, but uh, I keep thinking I'm getting close to doing that. But no, it doesn't happen. I'm still still going. Alright, so we have uh, one of the uh, smart uh, missiles that doesn't leave a trail. I'm doing pretty well this time. <laughs> I thought it'd be just quick go. As uh, yeah, my lost city has been destroyed. Uh, has been rebuilt rather. So now we're back up to uh, full whack. That will soon change, though. I, I, I can't believe I'll keep all of my cities after this go. Okay, well, I, I did a lot better than I thought, just losing one. Oh, fuck it, alright, there we go. I'm definitely uh, not uh, too lost straight away. Got away with that, just. So I still have three cities left. But uh, yeah, when you get to around this sort of level, yeah, um, the incoming missiles are now coming along at such a rate, you don't have much time to react. So it's certainly a lot more difficult than uh, Armageddon, you know, the Commodore 64 uh, copy. So I'm getting sitting back, so I'm back up to three. Uh, yeah, Armageddon is, it does play quite slowly. Um, fuck it. Right, time to just defend the two cities I've got. Oh, I thought I'd fuck that. I'll oh, fuck this though, right, so, right, down to one city left. You notice that, uh, yeah, a lot of the incoming um, missiles are actually targeting that one remaining city. It's not just random, and that city's gone down, so this will be uh, game over. There we go, so, uh, oh no, I've got one of the cities rebuilt, so I still have one. Uh, I'm not getting past this level though, uh, this is going to be fucking hard. As you can see I am just, well, <laughs> trying to just defend that one, but no, that failed. So, um, this is definitely game over then. So what did I get? Uh, 38,216, so I'm not doing too badly. Well, there you go, that is Missile Command for the Atari VCS, or Atari 2600. Um, 8.5 out of 10, it's a great game, it plays so much better than it looks. Uh, so if you are one of the many people who overlooked this back in the day, give it a try and I think you will be very pleasantly surprised. That brings this review to an end and we shall see you at the next one.